We're back again. Is the new shine worn off yet with, uh... Oh, shut up, Java. I don't care. You timed it just perfectly. You had all this time before I hit this. Then the warning came out. Now, I have to cough again. Pardon me. All right, whatever. Let's go. Same deal. All this stuff. I did remember before this video came out that I was doing that other... Um... How long have they been sitting here outside their Vespas? Just posing for this shot. I, okay, middle mouse button. I want you to zoom out. You keep zooming inwards. But anyway, I did remember halfway through yesterday's, or Monday's episode that I was doing that other, like, playlist. <clears throat> Goddamn throat. And uh, I figured I'll do this whole week on the regular just world map and then switch from there but yeah thanks for all the kind words i appreciate it all of you who have let me know that for some reason you missed this but not that i don't appreciate it anyway i do remember at the end of the last video talking about bikram and i kind of want to go into it a bit more because again i'm going to try to you know, make a little bit of effort into actually remembering things, coming into these with topics of some sort to discuss, um, while also trying to figure out where the hell we are. And Southern U.S., maybe? Although this could also be, like, fucking Canada, for all I know. Well, I'll just click here for now. Um, but yeah, if you don't remember the last one, I was just talking about Bikram, and it's just basically hot sweating. Hot stretching, that's just a super reductive way of putting it, but that's honestly all it is. I mean, you're doing some poses, stretching some things, um, you know, flexing muscles you normally wouldn't. Uh, I don't want to say it's cultish just because you, you could just really say that about anything, honestly, but it just was real weird going into that and just hearing um, all the people going in beforehand talking to the instructor, teacher, whoever is heading the class there, um, being like, i like to thank you for everything you've done so far, you know, positive energy. You know, it's kind of what you would expect, holistic, hippy-dippy, if you want to be dismissive. They were all saying it, but, I mean, it clearly works for them. So, I mean, I roll my eyes all they want. They were able to do it, and I wasn't. But, you know, this is what they do for exercise stress relief, whatever you want to call it. It's therapeutic in some way, I guess you could say. But I uh, did it twice. Uh, first time, I mean, they're 90-minute classes. Again, Bikram is, I think, the official, if you go with the official one, because I think there's Bikram and then there's hot yoga, where Bikram has to be like, what's it, 98 and just over 100 degrees with like 40% humidity. And um, it's like 90 minutes. And uh, start with the, the way this class works. Can I actually read any signs here? I mean, this would be cedar rotten. Yeah, I'm not gonna get anywhere near here. I'm, I'm this. This feels like it could be down here. Like cedar feels like a thing that could call here. Cedar could be a thing here. I mean, I, this is really just a complete guess. The quality is awful in all these photos. I'm just in the f fucking sticks here. I don't know what to do. I'm just going down this road, hopefully finding a sign in the next couple of seconds, or a flag, maybe. But I'm not going to get any of that. But the way it was set up is you're doing the poses standing up, and that's like maybe 30 to 40 minutes. And afterwards, you do all the stuff on the ground, and that's the rest of the 90 minutes. Yeah, see, I got zero idea where that was. I'm not going to give it any stars, because, again, it didn't... Didn't earn it, and this, I know exactly where we are because that Ankara is in Turkey. So, this will be a quick one, at least, getting this part down. But what really threw me for a loop when I first got in there, because I mean, it was, there, there's like a specific way you breathe. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be charged for explaining fine or whatever. I mean, you could you can look into the uh like litigiousness of bikram yoga 
if you wanted to. Um, there was a pretty okay uh, series of podcasts. I think it was the 30 for 30 they did. It's like five or six episodes. But, oh, there's, so we're way past Poli- Polat. Then it merges into that. So this goes to 200 and E90. Well, where's 200 then? This keeps staying 200? Yes, it does. Um, so we're like here, I think. Yeah, I think we're like right there. Is there like an on? There is. So I think we're like right there. Anyway. Um. Yoga, yes, all right. So it was real weird because you're breathing in, and then when they exhale, they were just making, like, you, you could do, like, deep exhales, stuff like that, but they were just adding, like, some weird noise. It's kind of like you were going, shh, and just imagine an entire class doing that, and it, it kind of scared me, a little, honestly, because I was not expecting that. I was just doing my exhale through the mouth thing just to breathe, but no, they were totally getting into it. And I didn't know what to expect. And then kind of the rest of the way it went was just me being like, well, I'm in, I'm, I'm here. I'm going to try to do as much as I can. The first class I went into, I was very completely underprepared for it. Cause I mean, if you read other things to say your first time ever doing it, do these things, drink water, eat food beforehand. This was nine o'clock. We were drinking the night before I went into it hung over with very little water. I used the wrong water bottle because it wasn't insulated in any way, and about 45 minutes into it, it was the same body temperature. The water was the same temperature as just the air outside. And I was like, oh, great, I'm just drinking basically body odor in, in, this, in this water. This is not satisfying in any way, and it just grossed me out a little bit. But I made it 70 minutes. And granted, that, w- that was a slog. I mean, it, it's, it was weird just because... The entire time I was doing it, I was having to stop maybe 30 minutes in. I'm like, all right, I'm, I feel like I'm about to black out. And I just had to fight it. You know, it was feeling a little dizzy and everything. And it was crowded enough where it was like, I got to try to walk towards the door to get some fresh air. And in the process of doing that, I had to really pay attention not to fall on anybody. And I can only imagine my ass just flopping onto somebody unconscious, maybe breaking noses or anything. It's just different body parts go flying everywhere. It, it was, it was uncomfortable, but that's kind of what the, the, the whole thing is. You go into it knowing that it's, it's going to suck. I hate humidity. This is like the two, two of the worst things I hate the most. in like the top 10 list of things I hate. Two of them were the entire point of that class. Anyway, did it, and then at the end of it, I was like, I could probably do that again. I mean, that that's the problem a lot of the times when, when you do things that you hate. You know, exercise, lifting weights, um, anything that's awful. Chores, mowing lawn, any, like, Bikram yoga. This is weird looking. Where, you know, if you talk to me trying to fight passing out against me 30 minutes after the, the, uh, actual stretching yoga, uh, yoga class would have had two completely different, I feel like this is potentially Russia right now, two completely different um, reactions to it where, you know, me sick of it in the middle of class would have been just screaming at the guy afterwards being like, what are you fucking, what are you an idiot? And then the other way around, just like, fucking relax, guy. It's just stretching. You'll be fine. It's going to be over. But anyway, I did it a second time. Uh, a bit more prepared this time. However, uh, ex- different day, more people. Room got super hot. Uh, I would really like to see that stop sign to let me know what language it is, but I am not seeing it. This is not going to go. I said forward. I, I'm not holding out much hope for this. But went into it and be like, all right, I feel like I'm not going to do as well, but I'm going to try. Drank the water beforehand. I didn't eat, but got 40 minutes into it this time and I was done. And it was around that time where I'm like, all right, I gotta, I, I, I'm not fooling anybody. I don't think this is going to work for me. Keen grain, Brayburn? No, it's Rayburn. Well, this is either Central U.S. or Canadia. So I'm, I'm going to focus for there now. Um, and hopefully I'll find some more information to help me here. But at least I said I've tried it. 
Um, if you can do Bikram, by all means, awesome, you can do that. I can't. I've tried fighting through it. It's just, it's just so much sweating. And it's, it's rough. Like, every time you had to go do a different, like, pose on... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is the Alberta. No, this is Manitoba, I believe. Yes, it is. 227 West. Um, where are we? Anyway, more power to you. That's your thing. Awesome. I've tried it. I know I can't do it. So now I can say, hey, I've tried Bikram. Not my thing. Instead of just being like, Bikram's dumb. I'm not going to do it. It just seems stupid, stretchy stuff. And you talk all dumb talking about dumb stuff. And I don't know how much stupidly reductive I can be trying to sound like an idiot. But you can give it a shot. I'm sure that the yoga places around wherever you live, they'll do some uh, deals of something. I'm at least going to get the province right. There's 212. How far do I got to zoom in to find? Like, this isn't a major road, but come on, it's Manitoba. It's not that big. Like, developed, I should say. Excuse me. None of these have. They don't. Well, we're heading west, which makes me feel, you know, it's thin, but it's a very long province. I don't think anything's up here. But other things I was doing, um, you always hear about people's hobbies and they figure, um, it seems real niche, some of the stuff they do, like, instead of being, uh, I don't know, I'm into, you know, martial arts, but no, I'm into, like, Krav Maga or Jeet Kune Do or like only three people have ever heard of this thing and or instead of just being like a carver or a whittler um I make tiny furniture on the tips of pencils you know they get super super specific with some of their hobbies and whatnot and I kind of feel like I've maybe come across one of those now myself um I've done a lot of hiking this ooh, 225 I was very close potentially like we're a few numbers off but I feel like this could be it. But like, I think I found my weird niche little hobby thing. Man, that was... I was in the wrong prop. Wait a minute. Hmm. You know, I fucked up that time. That was me. I knew the province, and I just kind of drifted off in one direction. That should have been a higher score. That's on me, but... Happens a lot. Hello, Russia. I've already pretty much decided that's it. what this was. This does not fool me in any way. Um, let me see a road sign. Give me... Okay, that doesn't help me. Where is this? Anyway, hiking I was doing. I mean, I did a lot of it this summer. Not as much as I wanted to because I uh, decided to break my collarbone because, you know, in a in year of doing firsts, why not break a bone be one of the other ones? But uh, I think I'm going to try to do, like, hiking in the winter. Yep, I knew this was Russia. And, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, the past couple of weeks I've hiked three mountains in the past four weeks. I mean, you know, other places in the world right now, it's super cold compared to where I am right now. Granted, everything I'm doing is in Fahrenheit, so you do the math. I'm not going to. Um, hike the two tallest in my state in the, well, three and then four weeks ago. Uh, both times, by the time I got in the top, super windy. Um, it was probably like 30 degrees on the uh, summit of both places. And I have this really bad um, luck whenever I actually go hike any place. And uh, whenever I get to the top, it's just completely fogged over. You know, there's zero visibility. You can't really enjoy the uh, result of your hike. Like, you go to the, whenever you hike, you want to see the summit. That's why you're there. You want to see the view. It's cool. But... For some reason, that doesn't bother me as much as it would some other people, I think. Like, the past couple of times I went up there, 
of those two, the two that I mentioned, or the two tallest, like, um, I was at the top, I did a quick little panoramic view, camera, maybe was up there for like 45 minutes and I went back down. Granted, the hikes themselves varied anywhere between two hours, maybe two and a half, not two and a half, uh, one and a half. I was going at a pretty good clip. Um, and I know there's other places where it's way taller than, uh, and the trails are way rougher than where I went, but, you know, this is what was near me, this is what I'm going to hike. But, yeah, I just got to the top. I'm like, it's kind of cold. I can't really enjoy anything. All right, no, I'm just going to turn back around and go down. I mean, I was by myself, too, so that kind of helped a bit with uh, me being like, well, you know, maybe some other people want to hang out and uh, enjoy the view, whatever little bit of it there is. But, you know, I'm by myself. I'm there. All right, just turn around and go back down. Uh, the one I did this week, then, though, um... It it seemed like a really bad, like, use of economic time, like, time as an economic thing, like, the investment of actually traveling there compared to the time actually hiking, it, it was bad. It took two hours to drive there, and the hike was maybe an hour in 15, hour, 20, 25 minutes. So, you know, total time to drive there, four hours, and then, you know, actual hiking may have just been around three hours. Not a very good return on investment, I guess, but uh, I was thinking of this when I was at the top because I was the first one to be on the top of the mountain that day, and I feel like they should have, like, some sort of thing you get for being top of the mountain, the first one of a day. I, like, I don't know what would actually be involved with that, but I just want, like, someone else to recognize, hey, you were the one on the top first. Congratulations. I didn't deserve this, but... Whatever. I'm going to uh, take the points and keep going. This is cool. I was not expecting this to be the final one, and I don't know if we're actually going to beat the uh, score for Monday just because... Wait, what was it? Like 12 or 15? This feels like it could be South America. This also could be Central Asia. Not entirely sure where yet. I need to see. Is this lavender? I don't know. I'm not a herbatologist, whatever they're called. This guy was probably stuck behind this car for a very long time and probably hated it. I don't know if I'm ever going to see anything with wording on it to help me figure out where we are. But my plan is I'm going to try to uh, hike mountains in the middle of winter. I just I did a little test this weekend with some of my clothing to find out, okay, what do I actually need to look to invest in to uh, do this in the winter? I'm going to need better boots and better gloves probably. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much set, which kind of has me excited. I mean, I just know that I can't, like, you a goat. What are you? Oh, you're a cow. Or something. A cow proxim facsimile. Whatever, excuse me. Um yeah, I know that you don't want to like uh sweat too much because you can get yourself frostbite, so you gotta pace yourself. It seems fun to me. Like what are we what are we drawing here? I can't tell. I still don't have really much of an idea where this is. This truck may help me, though. This truck will be the answer to everything. Um, or not. Hmm. So they have a lion, a parrot, and what looks to be Spanish. I am going to get a very bad score on this. Because I don't know what the hell this is. Like, this looks to be... Fragildo. Like, this makes me feel like this may be South America, but I am not sold in any way with any of this. I gotta make... I'm just going to... Um... I mean, I, I really don't know. This this is 
this this is difficult. I'm I'm very much prepared. Oh, it, hello. Okay, this this helps a bit. Like it helps that I know the country now. However, where in Peru this is, I could not tell you. So, hopefully, we're just close enough. Cool. So, my plan is in the next couple of months to try hiking something a bit more. Maybe in a couple of weeks, try another one. I don't know. It seems fun. It's quiet. It, 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 it's just this niche is the thing that's interesting to me. But everyone's got their thing. And whenever you try to explain it, you know, it's like, why do you do that? It's like, I don't know. It just seems interesting. I mean, I may actually hate it, but I won't know just like with the uh, Bikram until I actually do it. I may come back. It's like, yeah, I lost my nose for frostbite because I thought I was prepared and I was not. But I think um, I may like it. And here we go. Did I get the country right? Did Did Peru... Yeah, whatever, I'm in the country. That's all I'm fine with. And the summary. Hey, look at that. This could have been better. No way I would have gotten that one. Nailed that one real well. But, uh, yeah, that's a Wednesday down. Try to be a little bit more coherent with my thoughts, but I have some ideas for things I'll ramble on about, but, you know, I'll also take suggestions if there's things that you want to see me just babble on about. I'll look into it, think about it, or like, what's your opinion on taco shell? Should it be hard shell or soft shell? I mean, I got, I got views on everything. You just need to ask me, and then I'll just go on my way, but that's your Wednesday down. Come back for Friday when, I mean, I'm slowly getting better as far as scores go. It takes a little while to figure out how to ride this bike again, I guess, but thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon. Goodbye.